Hey, how again, folks? I'm Brian Peter with Tidbits from the Word. So proud to be with you today. Do you know if you are a servant of the Most High, of the Lord God of Heaven, through His Son, Jesus Christ, in this day and age, you have some things that you can call on that can be the total blessing of your life. Psalm 136, 135. Here is an appeal to all of us. 135 is an appeal uh, to all of us. Let's look at the uh, front caption of 135. Blessed, bless ye the Lord, all ye which by night stand in the house of the Lord. 134 and 1. Blessed, praise him, O ye saints of the Lord. 135. Um, Mercy endureth forever. 136. The mercy of the Lord. 36 times in this psalm we're told that my mercy endureth forever. 36 times he's telling us his mercy endures forever. Not just for the period of time that you and I are here, but before we ever were. Before this world was, God was mercy. He had to be mercy because he knew the downside of the human being. He knew the downside of the created creatures, the fallen angels and the angels. He knew the downside. said, we praise him uh, with the ascription of loyal affection. But we praise him no less when we suffer silently according to the will of God. When we do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of his words. And when we wait for him, when we wait for him to indicate his will or lead us by the right way. Went to a funeral yesterday. Very good, very, very, very good friend of mine. Uh, went to heaven yesterday. He left the <laughs> he left the pattern for his funeral how it was to be. He requested that all of those in the choir, if they would, uh, be at church tomorrow in the middle of the daytime, eleven thirty in the daytime, have a full choir up there, and he designated some songs he wanted sung, and they did. That choir came and they sang those songs. And it was a happy going home time for him. It was not a time of uh, full on weeping and tears. As a matter of fact, I didn't hear anybody crying. <laughs> Even though as a man left us, gone on before us to his home in the sky, but knew where he was going, happy was to go, ready to leave, and said, don't cry for me, because I'm leaving here. I'm not dead. I'm just <laughs> beginning to live forever. And put his body in the grave yesterday. We're all debtors to mercy. How do you be a debtor to mercy? Well, uh, the covenant of mercy we sing. Let's do this. Let's, let's look at it. And do you suppose such mercy is going to fail you. There is no way the mercy of God will fail you. You say, but Brother Peter, I got saved. I was a, I was a, a shooter up. I was a shooter up. And I got saved. I even got baptized. I got in the church. I got following the Lord. And and I fell out. And I have, I have got in a place to where I'm shooting again or whatever. I got news for you, my friend. The mercy of the Lord has not left you. The mercy of the Lord has not failed you. The mercy of the Lord is still with you. He evidently has a plan for you, or he would have took you home already. So he evidently has a plan for you. Say, well, I was an alcoholic. I was free from that stuff for several years. I got in the church. I even became a deacon. 
I, I messed up and I, I, I got fooling with a woman and, and I got outside of God's will and I, I got back to drinking and here I am. I got news for you, fellow lady. Uh, you're not outside of the mercy of God. The mercy of God is still on you. He is wooing you through His mercy. He's not standing there with a big hammer saying, I want to hit you again. He's saying, I've got my arms open, son. Ask me to forgive you and come back into the fold. Every sheep has to get sheared every now and then. Every sheep has to get sheared every now and then. You need to get sheared, that's all. You need to have all that old stuff sheared off from you and throw it away and get back in. The tender mercies of God endureth forever. You fret and the chaff like the restless little child. And, and But you cannot fall out of the arms of God's mercy. Hey, if you're listening to Brother Peter's little tidbit here, a little tidbit on sign, you can't fall away. You can't get away from his mercy. You can get away from the flock. You can get away from the contentment that you had within your soul one time. But just remember that his mercy is ever crying to you. I'm waiting, son. I'm waiting, daughter. All you got to do is say, forgive me and come back in. Just because you've fallen out doesn't make you going to hell because you're not going to hell. You're going to go to heaven. But your trek on your way to heaven can be a good one, can be a comfortable one, or it can be one that causes you great difficulty. God's mercy, His arms are open. His mercy lies still in the canopy like a mother's face. It, it breathes about you as a mother's embrace. Oh, love that will not let you go. Oh, mercy that has neither beginning nor end. <laughs> the mercy of God. Oh, God, who has loved? Who lovest? His mercy loves us while I'm shooting up. His mercy loves me when I was a drunk, an alcoholic. His mercy endured over me, kept me from killing myself. <laughs> His mercy endures over you, my friend. Wherever you are today, all it takes is the earnestness in yourself to say, God, I have sin. Forgive me of that sin. Restore me. Reunite me. Put me where you want me to be. If you were in a church and you got out, there is a proper way to go about this. You go down there and you tell the preacher, I want to apologize to this group of people, to this church I'm in. You go down there and you apologize. Go down front. Say, I apologize. I've sinned. I got outside the will of God and I sinned. But God's mercy has come and caught up with me. <laughs> and just as if I had never sinned, He's forgiven me. I would like y'all to forgive me. Let me be a help to somebody else in this church. I can be a counselor of those who have the same problem because I know what it's like. But I also know that God's mercy stands at the door and knocks. <laughs> who has loved? Who lovest? Who will love? When the sun is no more. When the things that I now shall pass away. As a dream. Oh, the grace of God. Exceeding. In thy abundance. 
higher than the highest mountain, stronger than the wickedest sin, stronger than the strongest devil, more everlasting than the wickedness of the world, the endurance of mercy, mercy and grace are two things that God is. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strong land if we didn't have the mercy of God? We could not sing His songs. I know thy works, the Lord said, and if thy works are opposite from me, I have a thing of called mercy for you I will put it on you if you'll ask for it. All you got to do is ask, and you are covered by it. Mercy is the cloak you're wearing when you are outside of the will of God. You are wearing the mercy of God when you're outside of His will. He will keep you alive through His even years. Even years of you backsliding even years of you being away from him, knowing miserably every day that all you need to do is say, God, forgive me. I have sinned. If you've never asked Jesus to forgive you of your sin, ask him today. Say, Lord, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart and save my soul. In Jesus' name, I pray. He will do that. He will come into your heart. He will save your soul. He will give you eternal life. And his mercy will endure with you forever. Will you sin again? Will you fall? There's a good chance you will. But remember, his mercy is always there. We'll see you. Bye-bye.